Hello, and thank you so much for joining us for this edition of Open Heavens Reflections based on the daily devotional written by Pastor Ehe Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I'm so grateful to God for this opportunity to be with you. My name is Foyeke Christiana Tolani, and I'm a pastor with Christ of Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. Our topic today is a professional or an amateur. And Bible passage is taken from 1 Chronicles chapter 11, from 11 to 25. It's a pretty long one, but I know that the Lord will bless you as you listen in Jesus' name. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had. Joshua being the son of a Akumonite, chief of the captains, and he had lifted up his spear against 300, killed by him at one time. After him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Aulhite, who was one of the three mighty men. He was with David at Pasdamin. Now there the Philistines were gathered for battle, and there was a piece of ground full of barley. So the people fled from the Philistines, but they stationed themselves in the middle of that field and defended it and killed the Philistines. So the Lord brought about a great victory. Now three of the 30 chief men went down to the rock to David into the cave of Adullam and the army of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Rephraim. David was then in the stronghold and the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. And David said with longing, oh that someone would give me a drink of water from the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. So the three broke through the camp of the Philistines, drew water from the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, David would not drink it, but poured it out to the Lord. And he said, Far be it from me, O my God, that I should do this. Shall I drink the blood of these men who have put their lives in jeopardy? For at the risk of their lives, they brought it Therefore, he would not drink it. These things were done by the three mighty men. Abishai, the brother of Joab, was the chief of another three. He had lifted up his fear against 300 men, killed them, and won a name among these three. Of the three, he was more honored than the other two men. Therefore, he became their captain. However, he did not attain to the first three. Benaiah, the son of Joadai, the son of a valiant man from Kabzil, who had done many deeds. He had killed two lion-like heroes of Moab. He also had gone down and killed a lion in the midst of a pit on the snowy day. Verse 23. And he killed an Egyptian, a man of great height, five cubits tall. In the Egyptian's hand there was a spear like a weaver's beam, and he went down to him with a staff, wrestled the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and killed him with his own spear. These things Benad the son of Joadai did, and won a name among three mighty men. Verse 25. Indeed, he was more honored than the thirty, but he did not attain to the first three. And David appointed him over his guard. Our memory verse. 1 Chronicles chapter 12, 32. Of the sons of Issachar who had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, their chiefs were 200 and all their brethren were at their command. Our reflections. David's mighty men described in today's Bible passage demonstrates the need to be the best at what you do. Hence, they were called mighty men, not just men. To be successful, endeavor to always give your best rather than a half-hearted approach. My prayer is that after your time on earth, people will also reckon you to be a mighty man or a mighty woman in Jesus' name. Our action point, outstanding success is of God. And mediocrity is not righteousness. Pray and plan to be successful in your chosen profession. 
And in Jesus' name, may you be successful in your chosen profession. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.